a very important tips regarding CST exam preparation. Now, this is your certification study guide. Certification study guide is supposed to guide you on what to study and what not to study. And there are some relevant mocks also here that can be solved and that is going to give you an idea about the real exam. But the most important thing about the real exam that we find in the study guide are the mathematical equations. If you go to the PDF page number 80, here is an appendix. At the appendix, we find uh, all the relevant equation. And these particular equations are really important for the exam. For instance, we get cooling and heating equations here. And it is in SI unit. If you are comfortable with SI unit, you can go ahead and use SI unit. And there are IP units. And thermal resistance, similarly R value and E value, we get SI and IP units. We get the same thing for water system equation. All the relevant equations are in here. For instance, this is the equation for chill water flow rate calculation at the chiller. And this is the equation for uh, cooling water calculation at the cooling tower. Here is another equation, change rates, air change rates equation, uh, mixed air temperature equation, duct work equation, and fan affinity law equation, pump affinity law equation, NPSA's net positive suction head uh, calculation equation and cooling tower uh, water loss calculations are in here. And then we get the equation for effectiveness, COP and EER, all these. Cooling tower and heat exchangers equation are in here. So almost all the maths and equations relevant to the exam is provided here. There are a few more equations um, I think two, three more equations uh, that is required for the exam also. However, what you need to do is to go through these all equation. There is a note provided to you separately at the course materials. Um, you will find about uh, 50 to 60 math questions there. What you need to do is to understand these maths very well and practice all the math relevant question at the math booklet. Practice it so many times that you are very familiar with all these equations, especially if you are not from a mechanical background or if you are not practicing this for a long time, this particular practice will help you to pass the exam. Mm -hmm. At the final exam, you will see so many maths has come, even though calculation will be provided, even the formulas will be provided there, but for me, I would like to you to you know, go through this uh, equation uh, as many times as possible. Write it down in a small note. Try to uh, memorize it if possible. Uh, so that at the final exam, you don't, must, you don't waste much time in understanding the equation and then apply it. Rather than it should be in your memory. And whenever you see the um, problem, you can just jump into the solution and do the calculation uh, on your own, right? And to add up with this, if you uh, go down at the page 89, you'll see the glossaries here. Try, try to go through the glossaries. If you find something, some, you know, uh, jargon with what you are not familiar Try to go understand it. And if you face any issue, let me know. So this is very important for you at the beginning. Let's say you have started the exam preparation today. So start um, practicing this math from today. And you also need to go through all my lecture notes and slides and uh, lecture videos. Thank you for your attention. Let's move forward.